the IC9700 and connecting it to Ham Radio Deluxe and WSJTX. Now, a lot of you guys have actually asked over the last sort of few weeks, how do you actually get this to connect? And the answer is it's actually not the most straightforward radio to uh, hook up to these programs, but it is quite easy. It's not very difficult at all. And I'm just going to run you through doing that now. So let's head on. I think we'll go straight to the radio and I'll show you how to connect the radio uh, or set the radio up so it's actually fairly straightforward to connect. Now the first thing you're going to want to be uh, doing is getting into the menu. Okay, and we're going to go ahead here over to the uh, settings and we're going to go into connectors, CIV, and then we're going to scroll to the top and the first thing we're going to deal with is the CIV board rate. Okay, now I'm just dealing with um, 19200. Okay, so um, I've just chosen that figure because it's a nice round figure and it's fairly easy to uh, remember. And we're just going to touch the 19200. Now, this is the important one. If you're going to be using things like WSJTX, then you're going to need to set, you're going to need to trick the software. At this pre uh, present time, there is no 9700. Um, um, there is no 9700 uh, 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 profile in uh, WSJTX. Uh, and um, that means that we're going to kind of have to emulate that, uh, that, that program or that, uh, that profile. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up for um, 94H. Okay, now that's the CIV address. And you quite simply touch on the CIV address. Okay, use the up and down arrows to actually go through that. Now out of the box, the 9700 comes, I think it is, um, I think it is A2H. You're gonna need just to go down, you use the minus out, uh, button just to go down to the uh, 94H. Once you've done that, you quite simply touch on the 94, well you don't actually touch it, you just turn the, touch the return. Now the next thing you're gonna to need to deal with is this CIV transceive. Now that needs to be set to on. If it's on off, then set it to on. It's easy enough, and then return. Okay. The USB LAN remote transceive address, we don't touch. We don't, we don't need to touch that. So let's just scroll down a little bit more. And now this one's also important. I did actually read somewhere on the internet, some guy had actually done some of this stuff and uh, advised saying link to remote. Now again, at this stage, some of this menu, I don't know what it does. And um, it's early days, I'm learning as I go along, um, but the idea of this video is that we just get this hooked up to your computer to get you working on your, your PC. So what you need to do is link this to remote, so you simply touch that. Now from default, it's actually set as unlink from remote. Just press link to remote, okay? Now the CIV USB board rate, now we've been working with 19200 and I would suggest you do that again. Leave the CIV uh, USB echo back um, to off. Um, and so there, yeah, there you go. So we've got the board rate, um, everything's set on 19200 and we're pretty much ready to go. So that should be it. Now all we do is just use the return arrow just to get back out of that. Now that's the radio set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the computer. Um, now let me just get this um, into the uh, display if I can. Where did it go? Display capture? No. Yeah, there you go. Right, so um, what we'll do, I think what we'll do is we'll go with um, WSJTX uh, first. If you don't already have the program, then you need to head on over to the uh, Princeton um, University download area for this uh, this uh, software. Now, the idea is I'm not going to teach you to use this software. That's not the idea. Um, but what we're going to do is we are just going to set the software up and we're going to go into settings here. Now, you'll get this window here pop up um, and it's going to ask for your call. Your, your grid and all that sort of stuff. So simply just fill those in. They're fairly easy to find. If you don't know your Maidenhead uh, square, then you just need to go to Google and uh, try and uh, get that uh, information. Um, we're gonna go to radio. Now, earlier on I said we're gonna emulate the IC7300. Now, you've got a list of uh, things you can use here, but in this particular case, it works best with the 7300. When you've installed the uh, USB drivers and stuff from the ICOM website for the uh, 9700, you're going to 
get two um, extra COM ports. Now, there will be something along the lines of COM 4 or 5. They could be higher. They could be 28 and 29. It just um, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but what we're interested in is the lower one out of the two new ports. So make sure you can identify which of the two ports belongs to or which two ports belongs to the 9700. We're going to go with the lower of the two. So in my case, it's COM 4. Now we've already agreed that we're going to have 19200 and the um, data bits is a fairly straightforward standard 8, 1 and none. Okay, so just configure. These are just um, satellite buttons. You simply just tap on them and away you go. Um, you don't need to worry about DTR or um, uh, the RTS. Um, that's not a problem. Now at this stage you treat this into two pieces so I would treat this first half as one and then obviously the next half is the sort of second sort of part to the the, uh, the, the puzzle as it were. Um, in, I would recommend starting off with Vox okay and then all you do is you simply press test cat. Now you see here we've actually got it all right and it's communicated okay with the with the radio and we've got a green um, uh, test cat button. Now at this point we're going to need some way of uh, PTT and the radio so what we're going to do is we're going to select cat. You don't need to worry about anything else, you don't have to worry about RT, uh, DTR or RTS. Um, in this particular case we're going to set data and packet um, and the split operation um, just for now we're going to be setting none. You can change all of this later on if you need to. Um, and then what you need to do is rerun the test cat port and then this um, uh, uh, test PTT will um, become live and you quite simply just press that and you can see the radio is going into TX. Now I've got this going into a dummy load just for the demo. There's a massive storm going on outside and um, I don't fancy playing with antenna uh, cables tonight. Um, so that's it. That's, that's pretty much job done with this. As far as I'm concerned, now once you've um, you look down here, you'll you'll see that in red it says one four four eight one two five, and on the radio it says exactly the same, um, and I can actually change that I believe, um, but the, basically now the radio will follow the software and the software will follow the radio, okay, and you'll see that as I change that, it changes on the on the display, so that is that's the two pieces of. Um, software talking the radio software and the actual uh, computer software now are communicating right okay so let's get rid of this one now the next one to actually have a little look at um, are things like um, ham radio deluxe now this is a program i use a lot it's a very good program for doing this um, and if you still remember that 94h civ address and com port 4 or whatever it is in your case um, now you'll see I've already set this up. Now I'm going to do a new one. Okay, so what I've done here is I've chosen in this case that an IC90, uh, sorry, a 7100 because it's got a digital or a DV, um, a D star mode on it. You're going to want something with those buttons already in it. So I've just chosen a 7100. Now that may not be the best radio um, to choose. You can have a little experiment. I did try it with the 9100 and it worked well. That wasn't a big problem. So what you need to do is you need to, from the drop down list, you, you basically set the make of radio, which in this case it's an ICOM, and then you just whiz down here to IC7100. And earlier on, I said about the COM ports. Um, in my case, I've got COM4 and 5 belong to the 9700. I'm going to go with the lowest one again. So, COM4, the speed that we set up was 19200, okay, and the address that we had was 94H. Again, these aren't used, okay. And from this point on, we can then just say connect. Now, if all goes well, it will work. There you go, it works. So now, what you can do here is if you watch the radio now, it should, as I spin this, it should change. You can also set the noise reduction on and off. Um, you can set the radio into TX. Um, you can set notch filters, do all that sort of good stuff, adjust the power. Um, turn the radio off even um, don't think you can turn it back on like that once it's gone off it's gone off um, 
So yeah, there's there's lots and lots of things you can do from here. You can actually set the RF um, RF power, set the noise reduction to on, set the levels of the noise reduction. Um, you can set the volume down the bottom here. You can change um, the RF gain, RF power, noise blanker level. You know all these sort of things you can change from this front end. And on top of that, it gives you the very popular and um, you know fantastic DM780. So if you're doing any um, two meter sort of uh, PSK and all that sort of stuff, you can get that up and running as well. And of course, you get the very popular logbook. Okay. Now, again, like I said, I'm not going to teach you how to use the software. Um, I'm sure that there's videos out there with people showing you how to do that. I just wanted to, you to be able to get the IC9700 connected to the software um, without stressing because um, it, some people are finding this actually very difficult. Now, at this stage, I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers. Keep subscribing because it's uh, it's really really good that we you know we get some uh, some people just watching. There's lots and lots of uh, plans going forward. Um, we're still building the uh, kits. We're still doing the bits and pieces with kits. And if there's anything that you guys want us to actually look at, I've got some really smart guys that are willing to sort of chip in some design ideas and that sort of stuff. So going forward, um, and yeah, so yeah, really excellent. Um, so again, thanks for watching. See you very soon. Have fun.